This week's episode is brought to you by Entrepreneur Swag Shop. As business owners, it's important that we create the right environment and surround ourselves with the right people and the right things to keep you focused and motivated. Entrepreneur Swag Shop offers clothing and accessories designed to empower entrepreneurs to share their message, their beliefs, and their journey with the world. Through inspiration and identity, the powerful messages printed on the items will help align you with who you want to be and what you want to achieve. Whether you are new or experienced, male or female, young or old, you'll absolutely find a message that resonates with you. Visit entrepreneurswagshop.com and use code Around the Real during checkout to get 10% off your order today. Get that swag, people. How's it going? Good. How about you? Really good. Thanks for your nice emails. Oh yeah, of course. Damn, Thanks I didn't. You were painting all day today, you said? Yeah, yeah. What kind of painting do you do? Um, it was just not not the fun kind. It was. Uh, <laughs> I love <laughs> painting all kinds. Um, it, we were. I was at an attorney's office, um, painting an empty room. Hey, I did that for years and years. It's tiring. It's, it's fun. I really loved house painting. Did you? Yeah. And, you know, sometimes if you could talk them into doing some like decorative work, some stenciling. Oh, yeah. and, see, that's what I loved, like faux marble, faux wood grain. I did oh, lots okay. of that in New Orleans. See, so when you fun. said you, you painted, I'm like, Ooh. don't matter what kind of paint, <laughs> get out that roller. Yeah. I am. Cool. Not, I am not a painter. <laughs> no, nope. no. Don't like it. Can't do it. What's your day job? Aaron? I'm I, I'm going to be a real estate agent again here soon. However, I have been focusing on our filmmaking stuff right now. So that's oh, good what for I've you. been doing. Yeah. Well, at least trying to keep our family afloat while I figure out the next step. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's what Excellent. we've been doing. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, I can't paint, Sam. Can't do no. it. No. I love it. I miss I miss that creativity of that. You know, I did a lot of art. You know, acting is acting, but I always had that to fall back on, you know, Yeah. because you never made any money acting. Jesus. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, a, it's rough. <laughs> I mean, it is. Yeah. I watch these guys paint because my daughter can paint just like her mother and they can paint their oh, asses off. She's better than me. She yeah. Can artistically. Draw. Yeah. You guys are great at it. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how you guys I'm really good at cutting in. That's my specialty. <laughs> But, you know, I always hated, Sam, I always hated when they say, uh, would you do the trim too? Just let me roll out the wall. I don't want to do the damn trim. (laughs) Trim is hard. You have to be like. It's hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not interested. Yeah. I kind of just said, clean up. Let's just clean it up. (laughs) Always talk about the trim. That's fun. But when you step back, this is my favorite part. When you get all done and you step back and you look at what you've done. This is my favorite thing about yard work too. Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. So do you get the same feeling you do like with the lines on the lawnmower when they're in the grass when you're done? Yes. Oh. Yeah, because it looks all nice. I love that feeling. Yeah. 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 So fresh and okay. so clean. Okay. You're a visual. You like the vi- yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah. I totally get that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's I, why she's with me. She's very visual. She loves If I'm in the yard, you know, it, I'll just spot the bad part, you know, like my <laughs> wife will, my wife left the her garden gloves. My wife my eyes go right to the, you know, Right. To the bad part. That's to the bad funny. part. That's funny. <laughs> so, R- Russell, you're going to be in studio today, man. How about that? I know, man. I'm, you know, I really wanted to do that too because um, I wanted to get off the couch. It was a great excuse to, to leave the house. <laughs> sure, I get it. And also, I have a daughter and granddaughter that live in in uh, Tacoma, so I thought, well, I'll go to Tacoma. Yeah, that's super close. Today. Yeah. Today, and then I'm really close to Gig Harbor. Mm-hmm. I'll just shoot over. But then I got the quarantine shit, so oh, I, yeah. I, I don't hang out with them, and I know. So uh, annoying. That's Are you sucks. vaccinated? Yeah, yeah, I'm vaccinated, yeah. boosted, and all that. But uh, you know, I don't know. I just don't want to, you know, put anybody else at risk. Yeah. I the other that. problem. The other problem is to do that. I would have probably hit really bad traffic. Yeah. <laughs> you probably would. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So. You know, so you and I need to practice. Yeah, and I need to practice this shit because this is the new world here. This is a new world. It this is. is a new. I got to do it. Yeah. I mean, I'm just doing the whiteboard because behind me. Behind me is chaos. Let me tell you. Yeah. If I had a pretty, if I had pretty something pretty back there, I would be all about it. You know, put the flowers here, and the picture would be there, and sure. it would oh, be. Yes. That's not happening today. It looks so fun. we're going. 
Well, I have ugly animals, ugly possum back here. But that's so. your possum. That's not ugly. Yeah, that was her possum. She no, had a possum. I raised a possum. That's life. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. You got a possum? I had a skunk. Did you really? Oh, she wanted yeah. a fucking skunk. I want a skunk. Yeah. Oh no. I have no Here skunk. we go. <laughs> Actually, it was descented. Oh, you know, awesome. Descented. Wait, how do they do that? They they get in there and do an operation, right, Sam? They yeah. take the little mm -hmm. they take the scent gland out. stink sack yeah. out of there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he was fixed, basically. <laughs> well, in a way, so he couldn't like <laughs> douse you with um, yeah. stinky. Wow. A <laughs> you know, scum. you know, possums get a bad rap. They really do. Yeah, they do. They're they do. really, really uh, docile, gentle. They're okay with your cats. They're yeah. not going to hurt. Mm -mm. And I just, you know, I remember for years I was catching stray cats and taking them to the SPCA because they were, you know, really rotten cats. And this lady would collect them and feed them being have a big barrel of food you know so i would oh, no. catch cats and take them to the not to be killed but just to hopefully uh, but be adopted home, right? yes yes <laughs> and uh, and one day i caught a possum and it freaked me out it had the big gnarly tail you know <laughs> yeah I know, it's disgusting. a big rat tail it's uh -huh. brutal and ever since then i just thought they're these are awful disgusting creatures and That's but then i did my research yeah those are those are nice little creatures they're amazing yeah. they, they really are they sure are cool I yep. I didn't know they were as cool as I found out when I raised one, but mm -hmm. yeah, amazing animals, very amazing. Yeah, how and long just did, very loving, very loving. How long did she live? Uh, she a year and a half, two years. Uh, yeah, almost. she lived only a year and a half, which usually they only live about two two to three years. Yeah, yeah. Um, but her life was cut a little short. She was. I call her my special needs possum because she was very special needs. We don't know like what all her problems were, but she was blind and mm -hmm. she just, when we found her, she was, her head was bobbing everywhere and she didn't know what was going on and she never did figure out what was going on. No, no. I mean, but how did lived. you even find it? Was she like up for adoption? Um, no, how actually. Did you get a possum? A <laughs> it's, it's very interesting. My mom liked to tell everybody that I feed the possums because, well, I did. And because they were hungry, I feed hungry things. And nice. um, at my job, and someone came across one and thought of me, of course, because my mom told everyone that. And so she texted me and showed me a picture and was like, do you want this? And it's just this tiny little baby possum. And I I had to beg Aaron because Aaron was a garbage guy. So he was terrified. Yeah, I was scared of possums. Uh, possums. Yeah, my entire yeah. life. Too, man. Yeah, they scared possums, the shit raccoons. Of <laughs> well, he got scared hissed me. out real bad yeah, by one. Yeah, <laughs> this thing, I thought it was a freaking raptor coming at me through the trees. It scared the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really did, dude. Some had a Z Nation. I was like, fuck that. No, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> but he said yes. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. Oh, great. And I actually, are they like, like a cat? You know, they're, really? they're really, they, they are. She's, they are like a cat. Well, she was. She had a little pouch. They're marsupials, so they're pouched you animals. Feed them yeah. cat food. Um. Yeah, I fed her cat food at first, and then she ended up with what? Kielbasa yeah, and wanted, grapes. She wanted and sausage. cheese. She wanted fucking kielbasa and grapes. Yeah, yeah. kielbasa sausage. That's, that's my kind of pasta. Oh, I know. And then every time she woke up, she'd come walking yeah. in the kitchen when I'm in there, and she's looking at me like, "Where's my fucking sausage? <laughs> Where's my snack? Where's my snack place? That's exactly. What, and cheese. Yeah. And her fucking right, cheese, right. man. Yeah, and eggs. Right. You know, uh, stuff. Well, I'm sure this is very interesting to our listeners. But it's not like we haven't talked well, about possums totally before. Is. I love this. Everybody song. loves a good animal story. Oh, yeah. My yeah. grandfather um, raised a raccoon, so it was yeah. kind of in my nature, I guess. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> well, um, well, welcome to Around the Real, everybody. To Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yes. Thank you for joining us today. We have Russell Hodgkinson. Is that how you say Yeah, name? good Jay job. You did that right the first time. Boom. And Very special guest. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people know your name and who you are for some of the work you've done in the Maybe. film industry. Maybe. I probably oh. have, and which is really exciting <laughs> for us. Um, I know, let's see, I never got around to watching Z Nation, um, which is a bummer because I- Because you're hardcore uh, Walking Dead fans. See, like, yeah, motherfucker, yes, I was, yeah. I was. And I, yeah. I tried it and I, I was like, oh man, no, I don't know. I'm not getting the vibe, but this was like season you four take of Walking your Dead. Zombie, you, you take your apocalypse very seriously. A lot of people do, <laughs> but my I, wife included. But dude, I really don't though. And that's the weird thing because I love those those um, fun, like uh, Shaun of the Walking, or uh, what was our movie, Shaun? Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun and, and yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. I love that stuff. Sure. You know, I really did. And it, it's amazing to me that I, I didn't allow myself to watch it when it was running, you know? It's course, especially. And then I saw your character. And I watched a lot of clips of you. I'm like, yeah, well, shit, Doc looks fucking cool, man. <laughs> so now I feel yeah, like I got to go back and watch it. It was a dream role for me, man. I got to tell oh, you. Yeah. A dream role. I'm yeah, bad, dude. Super fun. You know, because with, with television, you don't get to, you know, with, with like movies and with theater, you don't really get to create a role. 
and develop a role over time. But with TV, you and you get a role on a TV show like that, yeah, you get to develop it. Really? Because Doc was not like that on the page. When I when I auditioned for him, he was supposed to be like a high end drug dealer, um, <laughs> in good shape with a strong stomach for gore or something. Okay. So you know, so all his medical expertise and stuff he had none he just watched, <laughs> he just watched a lot of er okay <laughs> you know that's awesome that's I mean, he just kind of morphed into this hippie character i i didn't want to cut my hair and my beard because i thought well it's the apocalypse i'm just gonna let it all just go to yeah, shit yeah. just let it get longer and you'll see it just got longer and longer every that's episode cool. and um you know meanwhile the girls are plucking their eyebrows and getting gorgeous i'm like really <laughs> The apocalypse, we're not, right? we're not plucking our eyebrows <laughs> in the apocalypse, are we? I wouldn't yeah. be. Well, I don't have to. Be, I'm not, you know, yeah. Well, I don't do it anyway. So. I know you don't. <laughs> um, so he's kind of like a stoner character. Is that correct? Totally. Yeah. Okay. Cool. See, I kind of watched this, Sam. We got to watch it. Yeah. yeah did I you watch? That. Did you watch my scene getting high with the zombie? I yes, did. We, yes. Okay. We yes. watched a ton. Yeah. That's we, what I'm kind of known for. People. <laughs> Uh, fortunately, I get to do the Comic Cons, which is really fun. That's yeah. the next thing, yeah. Just the best thing ever, meeting the fans and getting to talk to them and Absolutely. find out what they like and all that, you know. And they always say, oh, man, when you got high with the zombie, man, the air <laughs> That's, so that's everybody's favorite. Well, you remember before. Yeah. Dude, that, that is absolutely amazing. So how did, how did you end up getting the role? How did that play about? Well, you know, we moved to Seattle in 2003. I started doing a lot of theater which took a while to break in, okay. but I finally broke into the theater scene and was doing a lot of plays. Um, and then I got an agent and um, got an audition for it and really blew the audition. That was back in the olden days when you'd have to go in to audition. Yeah, now that's Zoom shit. To the room. No, you don't do that shit anymore. <laughs> With your oh, headshot, yeah. you know, right. you're, you're... So anyway, I went in and I, I don't know, I was just nervous and I hate... I'm so, I, I'm so happy the way they do auditions now where you get to tape yourself and send it in because mm -hmm. you get to do it more than once you know they don't you Correct. might get two shots at it in the room mm -hmm. and you're nervous you know so i, yeah. I blew that audition and uh everybody was like did you get called back and i said yeah i didn't get a call back uh did you get yeah so several of my friends got callbacks for for doc and for different roles and so about two weeks later um i got a call from uh the casting director saying they want to see you again so put yourself on tape so I'm like, well, I'm not going to, you know, go pay somebody to put me on tape because they're going to, you know, you got to pay them shit. Right. And, I'm, and I'm like, what the hell? I'm just, so I got my phone, you know, and I had just got my iPhone and I just set it up and I realized I could do video on it. You're like, oh shit, <laughs> I mean, Welcome to the a 90s. new experience for me. I, so I set it there and I, it. and I had my little script and I, and I did the air shaft monologue, you know? Okay. Um, which was really beautifully written and it was comedic and it was really emotional too mm -hmm. because he's about to die, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it's a farewell and, oh, it's just, it's a, a great monologue. And so I did it over and over and over probably 50 times till it was like two in the morning. Mm -hmm. And by, by two in the morning, I looked stoned because I was so exhausted. <laughs> so fucking know? tired. Right? And I, and then by that time I had memorized it mostly. Yeah. So it was just, I just got this one take that was a really good take and I'm like, wow that was the one <laughs> i just sent that and they they booked me i just wow. i just honestly couldn't even believe it That's awesome. because you know actors in seattle we get to be the taxi driver we're the the bum mm -hmm. we're the cow you know we're never the the lead yeah. we don't get lead roles on television you know no. that just doesn't happen to us up here right not really and if i and if and if that was a goal of mine, hell, I would have moved to LA years ago. You know, it was never anything on my radar that I really planned on. You know, right. So anyway, it just really just fell in my lap in the best possible way. It was That's so cool. Really, really good experience. But I got to tell you, as soon as I got cast, I I want to see well who's producing this, and I should get I should do my homework. And I looked up uh, the Asylum, the producers, and okay. saw sharknado and i thought oh my god there goes my career i'm screwed because i just thought that was the stupidest shit i ever saw in my it's life. ridiculous but it worked so, it. but then but then who knew i know who knew yeah. sharknado know. was gonna be be huge. amazing freaking yeah. huge. And i was actually on one of them they they had me in to do i think sharknado five or something oh, wow. i was on one of them dude that's amazing that yeah no, really amazing what an experience though <laughs> Of a lifetime. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, you never know where the road's going to take you. That's what's you never know. crazy, man. It's so cool. It's
it's so yeah. exciting doing this stuff and that's that's what we try to do on the show is to you know continue to encourage everybody to don't stop doing stuff you know and yeah. keep them to keep going and just because you never freaking know you don't you don't what's and around the corner you know, chances and and here's the thing you know i'm not a, a real go-getter i'm not out there networking and I, and I know that that's important and and mm -hmm. in my younger days i guess i was more like that but you know the lately it's just like Somehow, this is my quote, okay? You need a quote from me, here, here it is. All right, cool. Doing nothing often leads to the very best something. That's <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, baby. That's, 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 the, power, the, that's the power of the poo. The <laughs> Winnie, that's a Winnie the Pooh it. quote. Yes, Gotta it is. Gotta love it. Doing nothing often leads to the very best something. I mean, and uh, here's a great it. example. After, after I did Z Nation, just last month, I got a call from one of the producers of Z Nation. He's doing a new TV show. I didn't I audition. He called Russ. I got a part. I think he'd be really good in it. And I, I just went and guest starred in a show called Going Home. I don't know if Tom Skerritt mentioned Going Home to you because he was a guest star. And I think he was in episode two and I was in episode three. Okay. okay. I think he did actually when he it's was It's basically on about show, a, yeah. a hospice. It's about yes, a hospice yes, facility. Yes. And the nurse is played by Cynthia Gary, okay. uh, who plays Shelly on Northern Exposure. Correct. Okay. Yeah. I'm with you. I mean, who didn't love Shelly on Northern Exposure, right? Right. So I, I was nervous to begin with. But anyway, so it just fell right in my lap, man. Just felt, it, I played a um, a Vietnam vet, homeless, drug addict, drug addicted uh, with PTSD, dying of cancer. Holy I mean, shit, come on, right? Jesus. It was That's like rough. some emotional shit. Oh, my dude, gosh. You guys, I mean, I was just, I was in it, man. Dude, I was in it. And so how they did you prepare they, yourself for that kind of? Uh, I got a reservoir of pain, Sam. Okay. A reservoir <laughs> that I can draw from, mm -hmm. All right. from yeah. life, yeah. just well, life, man. So you just draw from your I'm own you, like you. feelings and experiences. Oh yeah, that's what all the best no, actors I mean, say. I, li I lost custody of my daughters when they were three and uh, four and three, oh. and uh, boy, I just got to go right there, go yeah. back to that mm -hmm. memory. In, in wow. fact, when I did my audition for Z Nation, I had a little picture of my daughters. Um, and I put it right by the camera mm -hmm. just so that when I got to the emotional part that I would be able to just have it right there to help me yeah. to just kind of give me a kick. Yeah. You can't always do that when you're filming, but you know, on set, but you know, for an audition, you can do shit like that. You right. Know, right. Help right. You. Just to tap it really into work. it. Yeah. Oh but yeah. yeah definitely. You know, just the pain of life. Everybody's mm -hmm. got sorrow and places that you know they can draw from i yeah. think maybe no oh, they do yeah. um, but they were like see they all they they all know me as doc on z nation of you know there so they're like damn russell where, where did that come where did that from, they, come they, from they, were kind of, they were kind of amazed so I, I honestly think that could really maybe open some more doors for me and really give me a little more range um in the industry you know? absolutely Cause, yeah because i'm gonna have a nice reel you know i'll have a nice dramatic reel from that mm -hmm. yeah brother to go for with sure. my comedic my comedic reel and so anyway <laughs> well i mean but, you're absolutely amazing and talented as far as what we've seen of you uh, so, thanks i mean yeah. thanks sam that's just true i can <laughs> i can true. tell you we we sat down to watch a film not too long ago and the producers and directors were on the show you know them because you were in their movie yeah Russell. yeah um and when Aaron when swore we, he would not call you anything but Wells. I know. I was. I know. I know. I <laughs> I, I, I fucking loved your character oh, in Maze. Yeah. I Thank absolutely you. adore. Him. And that was the okay. first time I I think I saw you and uh, on film. And I, I I may have before in some of the other work you've done. But you know that character resonated with me. I'm like, dude, he's a fucking badass. I love Wells. <laughs> that's, that, that's so funny because I mean I wasn't like, you know, like Brian Sutherland had the role that I usually get. Though I I used to get those roles, the badass, the yeah, mean, the dude, mean you know. I, you know he you did know, good uh, too, yeah. yeah but. Oh good. yeah, I, I did uh, uh, Yule and To Kill a Mockingbird, and, mm -hmm. and on stage I've done a lot of those real badass roles. Um, so I thought Mr. Wells is just a nice guy. So I didn't. I was surprised that that he resonated with you uh, in that way because I just thought he was just yeah, kind of just regular. You're an asshole, Aaron. <laughs> well, no, you know what? what was I mean, cool? I didn't have a fight scene. I didn't really. <laughs> no, kick yeah. his ass. but he didn't have any fear either. He stood up when he had to stand up for everybody in that. Uh, yeah. In that, uh, what, where, where, it wasn't a wedding. It was a. Um, that, that, that was that kind of an engagement party. Engagement yeah. party, yes. It yeah. was the engagement party, and and that's when I'm like, dude, Wells, don't give a fuck. He is badass. You just, <laughs> he is. He really was, and he had some of the coolest lines. I'm just like, 
but you were believable as this yeah. character and yeah. that's and and you just Thank had you. the yeah, yeah you had the look man you had the look so, so the, then there's another example of don't do anything and let let it con- let let life unfold for you man is that, that came one? right out, that came right out of z nation you oh. know unless they called me she called me and said, I got a role in this movie that I, 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 I wrote it with you in mind and I really would love you to do it. And I'm like, sure, I'll do it. You know, I loved her son Holden. We got to work together on Z Nation yeah. and um, I read the script. Seemed really great. Yeah. And um, I had no idea it was going to turn out that good. It turned out really good. It turned out oh really, my gosh, really good. So I mean, good. it was like amazing. This is their first film. Yeah, Dude, I, yeah. Me? I, I, I was like, I was dumbfounded. I didn't know what oh, to yeah. say. We started watching that movie, and Sam and I looked at each other because we're indie filmmakers, you know. And we had our first feature we did, but sure. we we had zero cash, nothing. But we did our thing, you know, and we yeah. we were happy about it. We watched Maze and we were like, "What the fuck? Uh, how did they right? do this? Who? Yeah. How? What? Like, what? How did they? This is a freaking period piece. How did they pull this <laughs> yeah. fucking off? We could not understand. Jesus, did they? Man, oh my a lot God. of passion. They just had a lot of passion. Yeah. You know, less, both of them. Yeah, you know, just it was a passion project, and and it showed. You know, yeah. a lot of heart went into it. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff behind really the scenes. Pleasure. They a lot yeah. of work they did behind the scenes, and that's the trick. Um, they yeah. were they were hustling. They they talked yeah, to they everybody, were. and yeah. that's that's the kind of product they ended up getting out of that. You know what I mean? It was just well, just to kill it on every film. level, yeah. like on every level. I yeah. mean, literally, yeah. they they yeah. killed it. They, Cast they, crew. they got the look. They I mean, got the right actors, off the bat. Yeah. The boys, the boys, oh, oh, my God. Oh, they blew me away. I, yeah. Yeah. I thought I was watching yeah. Stand by Me for a minute. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's no, fantastic. And I know I know Leslie's got other projects cooking. She's got several other things that she's um working on i think yeah i hope yeah. she yeah. told me yeah. Yeah. She's, she's fantastic <laughs> she and... said you got a part for me in one of them so anyway <laughs> awesome <laughs> yeah that was great work yeah, there, i'd awesome. work with those two anytime oh yeah anytime yeah. good for yeah. you man. such beautiful souls yeah absolutely yeah. yeah they're amazing amazing people mm-hmm. um it was a pleasure talking with them too yes, and that's and that's how we got the lead on you i'm like well, yeah. well you got russell on the show well too. yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, get yeah. wells on here yeah i did it was fucking cool um, so you didn't say nothing. I was like, Wells is Aaron's favorite. And she's like, Oh, I might be able to hook you up. That's what she said. <laughs> that was fun. It was cool. So great. Yeah. I love doing the podcast. It's totally fun. I yeah. love to talk. And Well, I appreciate you being here. I know we both do. Yeah, yeah. And we got a third guy who's usually here, but he, he's got COVID. So he no shit. He really? Feel good. Yeah. yeah. You don't feel good. Does he have it bad or just, just well, a little bit yeah, of Yeah, unfortunately, he, unfortunately, he didn't want to get vaccinated, so he's got oh, symptoms. Oh, that shit happens. It fucking happens, and yeah. I tried to tell him. I'm like, dude. Oh, it's such a well, hard just, time, man. Oh, I know, dude. Hard. And, and now look at it this way. He, he had a respiratory infection not too long ago. That turned into pneumonia. pneumonia. He got over that. And prior to all that, he also had C. diff <laughs> last year. And now he's got fucking COVID. And I'm just like, what's her, what's behind curtain number three, John A. Ooh. <laughs> you Poor know what guy. I mean? What's no, he going to get? Wow, well, that's like, just damn. Yeah, I mean. he's, had, he's just had the struggle. Yeah, but Chuck we has had did, a hard time. We did really want him to get vaccinated. And we tried to talk to him. And I still never figured out if it was political or not. But he just didn't want to do it. But yeah. now, you know, you, you, feel, you feel bad. bad. Like, you feel dude, bad when yeah, someone's yeah, yeah, really course. suffering. And you're like, Ooh. You know, you never know. Because that, that little shot could have... Cause them just to not feel as bad, you know. And yeah, that's, and that's it. Yeah, I, mean, I get the freedom thing, you know. Yeah. Have, have we all get that. Not. Yeah. But I mean, didn't we all like have to get the polio vaccine? Right. We did. I mean, when I was in the military. I had to get all kinds of shots. Yeah, so, like, know what they were. Another shot for me. I was like, whatever. I know, brother. I, I worry about I my. I worry about my mom because she's a smoker. Yeah, and my that's mom just, too. You know, that's not good. And my mom's super anti-vax, and so I worry about her a lot. But she's. So political. I did finally get her to admit it was political. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, you know, is. is it really my mom worth too. it? My mom too. And it's just not worth it, I feel like. So stupid. But, you know, yeah. it's the, to it's each their just... own, and I yeah. have to try to respect that point of view. Yeah, if the zombies come, yeah. I'm getting a zombie back. I'm not, I'm not going to get something so I don't get that shit. They've got to have something. I'm not fucking around. Yeah, yeah, let those okay. other yeah you well, I think we were all kind of leery because there's just no one knew anything about this virus or the vaccine yeah. or anything. But, you know, I, I trust that they're looking out for our best interest and they're not trying yeah. to kill us all. Well, yeah. right. it's, it's just I like filmmaking. Too. Just trust the process. Well, I mean, and if you don't, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to trust at some point in your life or yeah, I don't know yeah, what. It's, it's <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. So yeah. our uh, our thoughts are with Chuck today, yeah. everybody. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, he's that things first, okay. Yeah. But he wanted us to tell you hi. Yes, he did. Sorry, hey, he Chuck, there. if you're listening, I'm sorry I missed you, brother. But uh, get well. Yes, sir. 
Yes. Very nice. He'll he'll feel good about that. He's yes. that kind of guy. He'll probably start crying when he. Hears he it. probably will. Oh, <laughs> he's, he no, will. he's a great guy. It's yeah. it's too bad he's not here to meet you. He wanted to be. Yes, he but, did. But uh, we're all hoping for Chuck to get well soon. Yes. Um. So, Excellent. Russell, what what got you into acting in the first place? I mean, when did this all start for you? Um. Uh, it just I guess started in seventh grade. I was. Uh, <laughs> My friend Tammy was uh, auditioning for the school play, Wizard of Oz. Uh -huh. And uh, I was sitting in the hallway waiting for her to finish the audition. And, and the drama teacher came out and said, are you are you here for the audition? I said, no, I'm just waiting for my friend. She said, well, you know, we're short on guys. Could you come in and maybe read one of the parts? I said, yeah, sure. So I just went in and I read for the Scarecrow and then she asked me if I wanted to do it. She so just said, tricked oh, you right into it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it. That's so I awesome. played the scarecrow on the Wizard of oh, Oz cool. in seventh grade, and and then I took drama and really liked it. And I love, I love the whole process of theater because it's so, uh, it's such massive creativity. You know, it's, yeah. you know, you're starting with the table read. Everybody's sitting around, and then you get it on its feet, and then there's blocking, and then the sets being built, and you're, you you know, and you get to help. You yeah. know, you're painting, and you're making the rocks look like rock, making the styrofoam look like rocks and you know you're you know you're doing all of it and then yeah. it leads up to the opening night and then it's and then the curtain comes open and then and then it's over yeah. and then you're ready to, yeah. to move on because for me man it's the journey it's like yeah. once you do the project i'm ready for the next project because you've, you've done the journey right which is you know not always good because um well you know, I've done a lot of movies and and it's really hard to get me to go to the premieres because I had the fun doing the part. That's all I cared about. Mm -hmm. I'm I, I'm never going to be the guy that said, "You've got to come see this. You better come see this." Or I'm in the, I'm in this play. Please come. I never. I could care less if anybody sees it. I get to do it. And that's yeah. the yeah. part for me. I don't care if anybody sees it or. And then you're stuck at a premiere, and what if it sucks? You know, what if you don't like it? And then you gotta like lie and say, "Oh my god, it was amazing!" You know, when it wasn't. Right. Or, you know, yeah. Yeah. So no, I get it. I get it. So that's bad because I should be more like supportive and. Uh, it, but it's just feels it feels false to me if I, if I'm faking it. You that's know, much yeah. respect for you. Yeah. There. No, I, I, I think know, that's, that's 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 a lot of respect. That's for you. fantastic. Per se, you know, I just don't feel good. I'm sick. I can't make the premiere. So. <laughs> So you got to lie another way to get Not only that, not only that, that I don't want to. I don't want to watch myself. I don't want to yeah. watch. Me. I'm going to see every little you. thing that I did wrong. Yeah. You're making that face. You're uh -huh. doing that thing you do. Yep. You know, That's I'll me. hear my wife in the background saying, "You're making that face. You know that thing you did. You're doing that thing you do." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we are uh, so, our worst critics. You know, we? that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty I, uh, common. Not interested. I'm not yeah. a Russell Hodgkinson fan. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm really me. not. Yeah, I'm not a Samantha fan. <laughs> it's pretty common for most I'm actors a not fan, to. <laughs> it is pretty <laughs> common for most actors not to want to watch themselves. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Okay. I don't. Know. Yeah, Maybe it is. I, I, yeah. All the actors I talk to, I'd say it's a more of a 60-40 split. Wow. Huh. I, I honestly think so. It seems to lean more like, no, I don't need to see myself. I'm fine. But I, they I love doing it. I did watch a lot of Z Nation, however, because I wanted I wanted to see the effects, you know, because yeah. you're going up and you're piking somebody, but you don't really see the blood. Yeah. You, don't, you no. don't get to see what, what happened. all the special effects that, you know, like, we, and we had, you know, Jason McKee was uh, doing some magic on Z Nation and, yeah. and, you know, making all the zombies fall off the cliff. And he just did amazing work. And so it's very cool. He was actually the director of my episode in Going Home. Uh, oh. At the hospital, you know, the hospice. Oh, he gotcha. got. He was the director, so you know, he's great. That's awesome. Know. That is, yeah. and that is the fun part about about watching the movie. See, I never really like seeing myself on screen either, but um, Aaron made me look so cool. I was like, well, if you make me look that good, I mean, then I enjoy yeah. it. But <laughs> it's just that the whole way through, no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't. But seeing the effects was really fun. But see, it's you're, really fun. Yeah, she she's actually just the opposite of you. In my opinion. Wait, what do you mean? Because you, you don't like the filming process, but you don't mind watching it when no. it's done, when you yeah. see the final product. Yeah. Russell's just the opposite. He loves I like, the process. I like the process, man. Yeah, I like me the too. Whole, I, love, I love the process. Ugh. Absolutely. Ugh. And I love to be part of it. Um, it's really hard when you're, you know, you're doing professional theater, you're doing professional, you know, work because they got rules for that. You know, you can't, you can't help paint the set. You can't um, go yeah. through the find out what you want to wear and you know yeah, you got to wear what they tell you to wear yeah, yeah. you have a lot of freedom we did we did have um uh, we did have a wonderful costumer who would say what do you like you like this like this and she would let us kind of you know pick what we like best but 
ultimately she had the final call. Right, right. We had a lot of freedom. I don't know what that's like. I had total freedom. Well, if you're sleeping with the director, you get to do whatever. (laughs) Right, right. Well, you pretty much took the costumes and you helped us out. No, I did. Yeah, I did the costumes. You did a great job. Yeah, you did. So fun. where can I see you your films, you guys? Oh gosh, yeah. Well, the well the two B TV. Yeah, the the f- shit, man. We've been making movies for twenty years, but we just got the balls to finally put one out there in two thousand nineteen. That was well, what's f- the one you're most proud of? Second watch you. The Outrider. Well, the one that's out. Yeah. Yes, the only one we have out. It's on two B TV. Yeah. Outrider. Where can I where can I find it? Two B TV. Two B TV. If you don't have two B, what else is? Oh, on? it's on it's Zumo. On, it's it's on, on Plex. It's on Amazon Prime to rent or buy. So you can okay. watch it anywhere. Yeah. It's- um. Wait, wait, Maysville's on Tubi TV, motherfucker. You're supposed to know where your movie's at. Isn't it on? I thought it was on Netflix or... No, it's on Amazon Prime. Yes, it's on Prime and Tubi. You can... Dude, they can make more money if people watch it on Tubi. I'm not that, I'm not that savvy, man. I gotta, I gotta figure out this shit out. I know. Yeah. It's on Tubi. I don't even... I never heard of Tubi. I'm just messing with it. It's a... So it's, a it's an ad-based... Um, platform yeah. yeah free to stream movies all day long but it's got okay. it's, it's got ad breaks in there but they don't have like they don't censor anything it's it's the and movie. so like if i'm on my tv and i see all the you know netflix and hulu and it's, mm-hmm. is it one of those boxes yes. it is it'll yep. say to be yep T-U-B-I. Say, okay i'm gonna totally totally look for it i would love yeah. i'm taking notes yeah there you go two thousand dollar film we made two thousand dollars two thousand dollars are you yeah. shitting me you that's all we had yeah that's, that's and all. one camera and one light that's all we had Unbelievable! I wonder what the budget budget was for Maysville. Did they I ever tell know. you? Uh, uh, well, we did, we did see it. I don't remember what I mean, it was, but it was. I don't know what their final numbers were, but I know what they were trying to get. But what they ended up getting was a lot less than they had hoped. So they still were able to pull off that film that you guys made incredibly, and that's what's yeah, so cool. I just have about no it. idea what that because um you know if you watch Z Nation you know uh, Keith Allen who played Murphy yeah he's written a movie uh, for me and him it's a buddy cross-country thing oh, fun. hilarious wow. funny brilliant okay he wanted to write it together and i just kept saying yeah yeah we'll write we'll write a movie that's how it <laughs> and i kept blowing him off you know because well for one thing i mean i have great ideas but i don't know i don't have the the computer app where you put, put you in the can script do a script format. Yeah. i just don't know how to do that shit and so i just kept blowing him off and finally he wrote the damn movie and i read it and i'm like i had to totally gro- i was groveling i'm like dude, I'm really <laughs> sorry this is a great movie We've got to make this movie. Oh, that's you know? cool. That's cool. So we're trying to scramble to figure out how to do it and what kind of budget we need. And, yeah. Um, but, you know, you don't, I, I feel weird asking somebody, well, how much did that movie cost? What Was it, you know, five hundred? Well, no, I mean, I, that, I, I it's think actually it's a great really, question. it's common to yeah. ask. I mean, and yeah, it's you may totally, not, yeah. You may not get the answers, but. Some people yeah. I think don't want to share. Yeah, that's the problem we run into sometimes. And um, if there are filmmakers out there that do share, and we are yeah. those type of filmmakers yeah, We are those. Too. And I think it's well, important, especially on the indie level. I mean. The, well, the I think fun, we need what? more than two thousand. So you yeah, you're going to need more. You guys are not giving me realistic. Advice. No, no, no. no but well. there, <laughs> there are ways to to build that kind of budget in so many ways. Yeah. Well, talk to Leslie. She knows. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. she's. Yeah, awesome. I talked to Michelle oh, recently great, a little yeah. bit about it. Mm-hmm. And I kind of wanted to know how their partnership worked. You know, because yeah. uh, you know Keith That's wrote right. it and he he wants to direct it, which I'm not thrilled about because you know. I don't know. I just think that's, that would be too hard to well, start. Well, how are you? Is it directed it? You huh? know what? That's what Aaron does. He I does. Star, he direct, start, write, edit, is it hard? I mean, film, everything. I do it all. Yeah. Well, that's why we could keep the budget so. That is I, why. I, I try well, then who do it. I go to when he pisses me off? Who do I go to? <laughs> yeah, you're fucked. You're, you're <laughs> completely, right, I'm screwed. You're screwed. <laughs> So, so I need so I need a confidant. I need that's him and up. that's Aaron and Chuck. Like you have to be able to get along with the person for sure. Yeah. Because him and Chuck have been doing these movies forever, and yeah. he just they're just buddies, and they just make them. Yeah, and that's how we learn though. Yeah, that's but who do awesome. who do you go to when you get mad at Chuck? No one. Uh, no, I've had Yourself? no one. No, yeah, I just hang in. <laughs> well, you're the director, so you yeah. don't have to worry about it. You, he oh, just yeah. got to do what you tell him. Yeah, yeah. That, well, the most I can of the just time... see myself, you know, in the scene with with Keith, and we had our, our big scene, and then he's like, "Yeah, I don't like the way you did that. Could you give me another line reading? Could you maybe read it like that?" I'm like, "I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> he's, I'm gonna lose my shit." <laughs> so you know, I just need I just need somebody else that That's I can funny. a third a third eye, you know, somebody else to, to watch the scene. When we're doing our scene together, I can tell you right now, with um, with the, the work you've done and who you are, and you're just your personality alone. If you if you did start reaching out to people, you you'd get a cast and crew, oh, no problem, easy. no problem, easy. Russell. People, well, we got a lot people of our, our Z Nation, our Z Nation family. Yeah. Are, oh, oh good, okay. That's, that's, what I'm loyal, that's yeah. a loyal family. Yeah, you're I'm good. Sure. So yeah. now you just got to figure out how to pay everybody, and that's it. 
Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, they have the whole infrastructure in, in Spokane, all the crew. It's all there. It's all yeah. ready for just to plug in, a, you know, movie that's or beautiful. whatever. And they're yeah. getting a lot more work there, too. That's so. good. That's really that's good. That's where we're hoping to film it. Perfect. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. You, cool. You, that That's the easier part. I mean, you know, getting the money's not that easy. But no one trying to figure out how to do it isn't as hard as trying to frame a shot, let's say, or set yeah. a scene and stuff. That stuff's where it gets kind of tricky. Because you got to yeah. make everything look good. This is just asking questions. You, you'll get it. You'll get it. It's yeah, I think bad. we're we're getting some good feedback, and um, you know, just getting people to read it. You know, it took forever to get me to read it. Right. So, you know, so I I sympathize. You know, but yeah. once people read it, they're like, oh my god, dude, this is a great movie. That's exciting. That's yeah, fun. really Super really cool. cool. That'd be fun. Oh, I'm watching it. Yeah, you guys, oh, yeah, I watch the shit sure. out of that. Especially I told him, even if you piss me off and have to recast my role, I'll still support the movie. <laughs> Aww, that's I do so love, nice. Because I do love it. <laughs> that's, what Wells, that's what Wells would do. See, Wells. It's the best. <laughs> but we have, we actually have two movies coming up. Um, just get, we have one, what, let's say goodbye halfway. Halfway through. done through uh, Principal right now, our other feature. Yep. Yeah, so okay. Aaron, Aaron directed his, his movie, and then the Chuck and I each did a movie ourselves and i picked a documentary and chuck picked a faith-based movie which was really weird for us because he's like a total horror guy yeah (laughs) but um he picked a faith-based movie and so we're in the works on those uh giant pacific octopus is almost done that's her documentary that's my documentary and it's fucking fantastic great just watched it again last night we're just waiting for (laughs) a few final cues from the composer but once we get that locked, it it should be locked by the end of the month, man. It's great. She did so good. This is her first time directing something. How and exciting! She yeah. killed doing it. it, killed it. Movers yeah. and shakers here. You know what I mean? Well, I kept it local. Uh, I love local stuff. So yeah, yeah. I definitely. Where, and you guys live in Gig Harbor, yeah. Yeah. So you guys always live there, or? Well, to Tacoma. <clears throat> Tacoma, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We just moved out here, and I was scared because I'm brown. And I'm, I'm <laughs> Gig Harbor, so I'm Are you brown? Hold on, I can't really tell. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not that white. brown. Come on. Come a little brown. He's not. A he's not brown. brown. He's not that white. No. I mean, he's not that brown. No, you don't even know anymore, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, There's but it's some cream in that coffee. Come no, on, right? right? <laughs> there is. There is. It certainly is. No, plenty of that. It's it's a very beautiful area all around the Pacific Northwest. It, hey, no I mean, really, right? It can is. you can oh, you beat it? Any, I mean, no, I lived a lot of places, and this is the most beautiful place I've ever lived. Well, so. it's pretty I cool. mean, you pivot in cool. any direction, and it's like, oh, mountains, oh, the sea, <clears throat> oh, it's Absolutely. everywhere you it's go, green. it's beautiful. Yeah, it's it's no pretty. matter where you look. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So true. It mm-hmm. is. Um, so what got you up in this area in the first place? Why did you come up here again? Was it just theater, or was it some uh, other? Well, reason? you know, I met my wife in in Los Angeles and in Long Beach, actually, Long Beach, California. I was in the Coast Guard, and I was. Um, I did. We did. I was doing a lot of theater at night because I had okay. a day job in the Coast Guard mm-hmm. at, at the uh, district office, and so we met at an audition and we did some plays to get. We did a bunch of plays together and cool. uh, became really good friends. And then um, <laughs> one day I realized, oh my God, that's who I love. That's who, you know. That's so uh, sweet. And then you know, then we ended up getting married and moving to. I got out of the military, moved to uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh wow! <clears throat> it's been about eleven years there just doing theater and painting and paper mache i was built i was working for the uh, mardi gras company building uh mardi gras floats and no kidding oh, no shit. cool yeah and i worked uh, with a sign painter an old sign painter uh, as his Super assistant cool. and so doing fun. all the hand painted signs and stuff really just massive creativity and yeah. new orleans was a great place during that that period mm-hmm. um a real welcoming city a, a city with a real sense of humor you know which was great and, uh, and then about 2003, right, uh, maybe a year before Katrina hit, my daughter, um, who had moved there as well, <clears throat> had a couple of babies and they were getting ready to be uh, school age, but she didn't want them to go into school there because there were like shootings and all this crazy shit oh, going on yeah. in the school systems down there. Okay. So she she was moving to Seattle and I said, well, if you're gonna take the kids, the grandkids, I guess we'll have to go too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we all just (laughs) taking my grandbabies. Are you kidding me? So we, we, uh, we threw all our shit in one of the big yellow Penske trucks and just took off headed across the country. And we all lived in uh, a big house together. And I stayed home with the kids. The the girls got work right away. And I did the cooking and taking care of the kids when they were little. And and then we, then we finally got our own places and blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you, did you have any idea that it's like an indie film craze? No idea. 
Okay. No idea. I, I didn't even, it wasn't even on my radar. I just wanted to get involved in the theater. I knew there was a lot of professional theater here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I would drive by Seattle Rep and I'd be like, I'm going to work there. I'm going to totally work there. And I ended up working there. It was very cool. Very cool. <clears throat> but then I had this audition for um, something and I had this really beautiful monologue from Angels in America that's um, funny and emotional. Okay. And I made me, and, and I end up crying in the end of it. And so one day, Lynn Shelton, God bless her, <clears throat> called the theater to say, do you know any actors that can cry? <laughs> and the casting director had just seen well, my audition. You know. <laughs> and said, there's this guy, Russell, he's great. He, he can cry. And so she called me. I got an audition for Lynn Shelton and I was in her first movie. Nice. We go way back. Wow. Yeah, Lynn Shelton, man. What a loss. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> just yeah. a wonderful, wonderful filmmaker mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. inspired a lot of people <clears throat> so that was Definitely. beautiful that i was able to you know yeah, have that oh yeah yeah, yeah that's For badass sure. great experience that you got that opportunity <clears throat> yeah. um man and then one thing led to another i just started auditioning for different things and um and then i did the horse fucker movie <laughs> and you know that movie i don't know it what <laughs> what's called that zoo. it's called zoo Zoo is a Zoo? is a, like a docudrama okay. based on the guy in Enumclaw who oh, died God, having God. sex with an Arabian stallion. I remember oh. the story. Oh, I didn't. You you know oh. that story, Sam? Yes, I do. They're, they oh, made a movie out of that shit. Really? They made a movie out of it. It was like the most downloaded story in 2003. Yeah, Holy I shit. do remember and that. And this yeah. uh, wonderful filmmaker Rob DeVore decided he wanted to really get in there and find out. <laughs> it wasn't sensationalized. It wasn't all. It was really. He just wanted to get into the minds. Yeah. Of, yeah. of, of, of bestiality and what yeah. that's about and it's this whole underground scene you know that's gotta oh, be so he needed, you know he needed creepy looking guys like me and um <laughs> so, so i auditioned I, I really agonized over whether i wanted to be in that because i thought man mm-hmm. this because, is a career killer i'm not gonna do because this. basically once you do the horse parking movie all bets are off you're pretty right? much yeah, yeah. you're gonna just you know <laughs> it's <whew. over. laughs> but you know it was yeah. a beautiful beautiful film it Ooh, ended really up going cool. to sundance and can Oh wow! Um, I don't remember. Why did I never hear this? <clears throat> a, a, a beautiful film. Okay. And, really, and, and you know, out. the only criticism, the main criticism about it was there was not enough uh, man on horse action. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I, well, well that, you're he, not. You're not, not really. He, he was not going for that. You know, he he was not going for. Hey, that. You let down your niche audience, man. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. I should say. I, I should say horse on man action. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, just to be clear. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah. awesome. okay. But we have to. I have to find. <laughs> no, that's that, it's different. If though, you guys need to cut different. all that, you know, feel free to cut all that. Oh, no, absolutely not. No, we we don't, don't cut anything. We don't. This is, this is around <laughs> okay. the real, brother. No. Around the real. You talk about anything. <laughs> Too funny. So, so that led to that, and then just, and then it was just snowballing. And then I just, then I booked a Meg, Megan Griffith, uh, uh, one of her movies, and a couple of her movies. Mm-hmm. Um, I did uh, a movie called Eden with her. Which I played kind of a stoner, old druggie out in the desert. Okay, a beautiful film, and yeah, I just did a whole shitload of movies. No, I saw, uh, I saw films. your IMDb. Yeah. IMDb, you've got a ton. Yeah, of I just all, we didn't realize, like in yeah. 2014 or whatever it was. I just did a whole shitload. You I sure did. Them, you know? My my uh, idea was just look like shit and say yes to everything. <laughs> <laughs> I like you know, that now philosophy. I, can't, I don't think it would work for me. Say, <laughs> now I can't. I just can't do that though. I can't say yes to everything anymore. Yeah. I just now things are coming to me and i'm like you know once you kind of know who you are and what you're about you know where you belong and where you don't belong yeah right right. you know yeah and and so i get i get that in a real profound way lately i've had to really pass on a few projects that i was excited about and then when i finally got into it and learned more and i was like you know this is not for me yeah Yeah. well now you know know, you've done enough stuff you know what you what's for you and what's not but but, you know sam i want to work you know so, so I really, I really want to work. So it's really hard yeah. to, to say no, <laughs> you know, I I wanna, it? Yeah. I, I would but have I a mean, hard time. Absolutely. I would. But can't, the, you know? Getting the opportunity to actually say no, if you want to, I think is great. Well, I guess you're right. Yeah. 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 I, I, I see what you're saying, Sam, but it's weird though, because well, I, there, think was about, a time, there was a time that did you correct me if I'm wrong, but was there a time when you feel like you weren't, you wouldn't say no yeah. or, or even mm-hmm. couldn't I, say no? Yeah, I, I would just it. I would say yes to everything because I I kind of looked at it as a training because I don't yes. I didn't go to film school I didn't I don't uh, I never had an acting class in my life right and so uh, I I learned theater by doing it by doing community theater and and fringe theater and then semi professional then professional got my 
actor's equity card and all that. But film, I didn't know. I didn't know anything about the language of film and yep. the terminology or any of that. Yep. So it was like training, you know, you get a little small part in a film and you watch everybody and see how they do it. And, yep. you know, that's what that means. That's and, exactly. You know, and then, yeah. So it's just OJT, man. That's the story of my life <laughs> on the job training. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I mean, mean, that's how we did it. That's how we did it. Mm -hmm. uh, no yeah. film school either. I mean, it was just, you got to just start being around it. You got to go yeah. and do it, you know, yeah. one way or another. You you going on sets. I mean, look at all the teachers you had around you when you're. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You just, just said yes. Just absorb and, it. And I, and I love working with like new filmmakers. Mm -hmm. I love that, that they're, this is their project. This is their passion yeah. and, and you get to help them. And you well, get nothing get beats that excitement. It's, it's of, a very, first, of a newcomer, it, new, it's a really new filmmaker. They, they're just, their passion, their excitement is just unbeatable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, sometimes you never even see the film. You never even, True. it never happens. Yeah. But you, uh, I did, a, I did a movie called Gold Creek shot in Twisp, uh, Washington. It was a Bigfoot Western, a period piece about the gold rush days. <laughs> okay. We had a Bigfoot. We had an amazing Bigfoot and a wonderful um, makeup artist who's now a hotshot in LA. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was the most fun I ever had on set and it never got finished. Ne we never Damn. got to see it or anything. Oh and God. I met so many cool people doing it and uh, you know, it, it happens so though. Fun. It happens. Yeah. It happens. We were on horses, man. We had a, you know, oh, bomb, a big bonfires, and it was in the winter and cabins, and it was just cool the coolest. Spot, man. Super cool. It was super super cool. I called the filmmaker, you know, uh, just maybe a year ago because I, me and my wife did this pandemic road trip, and we drove right through the area that we were filming. Oh. So I thought, I wonder what, what that dude is up to. So mm. sure enough, he was in my contacts. And I called him, and he's like a carpenter in, in L.A. now, down oh, in, wow. uh, you know. Not St. Louis Obispo oh. or something uh, on a roof somewhere. Damn. Um, which is like, dude, finish yeah. the movie, finish. dude. Right. You're killing me. Yeah. yeah. That sounds. You know, like sometimes you run out of money, or you just yeah. you run out of steam, or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. It's 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 not easy. And yeah. a lot of people, it is it's hard. Not. It's yeah. hard. It's hard, and a lot of things knock you down. And I think that sometimes you know people just they lose their they lose their steam and they don't have it in them to complete something that is started. And it's too bad because a lot of that's great stuff. Well, that's but... why they need us here. That's why we're talking to everybody all the time. Well, yeah. We didn't because always we complete keep... everything that we did. Well, it took yeah, us... we did. We went back and got it done though. Five, seven years later. Okay. We went yeah. Back I and had finished to complain it. like every day for Yeah. But years. we finished the fucker. <laughs> we did. Yeah, we got it done. Good. We got it done. And that's the trick. Like we had other people <laughs> on this show talking about that. Like, your opportunity could be right around the corner yeah. and a lot of people yeah. quit right when they're hitting that corner. Well, and that, and that was a good experience sucks. for us because that was a seven year gap. We started a movie and then we went back seven years later and finished it. Yeah. How great. Yeah. Because we did, it, it needed to be done. How he pulled that off is amazing <laughs> in of itself. But. Well, we, we had a, we had a great team of people yeah. trying to help us make that. But we were all older and it was like, <laughs> Oh, you just How have, is you, this going to happen? Or else you just put a time jump in there and you're fine. You just got to <laughs> put a time jump in there. Yeah, that's but all we, we started with all of our friends, you know, and they, yeah. and, but incredibly, they did amazing. They Absolutely did amazing. They, did. they oh, great. They did. Yeah. You know how you said you were never an actor, really? You never been around, you know, the terminology. Neither did a lot of our friends. Yeah, no. And they just had fun and they acted their ass well, And if you watch The Outrider, like, um, none of them are professional actors. Nope. Um, there's one that had acted before. That's it. Experience, yeah. A little bit. Well, two. Two that. One had theater experience. Yeah. One had acting experience. Right. Yeah. Other but than that. Very little. Very little. Well, look at the guys that are casting. They're they're being cast right out of prison. Right, <laughs> badasses. Like, know, oh, know. Just be just be you, dude. Just, just you. you do you do you. Well, that's the you cool thing. Really and honestly, that's where yeah. you get so much. I mean, you you get so much genuine person, you know, from someone who yeah. hasn't done it before. Yeah, because really, all they know is to be themselves. So then they yeah. come out. You know, there's it's better. It it is. It is. It's it. There's a magic there that can't be beat. Yeah, yeah. And, I do have to say. And and Russ, I think mm -hmm. you capture I've called him Russ. <laughs> you call me Russ. Thank you, Russ. Oh, I, I, Russ. We, I had a, a neighbor kid that oh, was a friend of my son's back in the day. Russ. And he, he pretty much lived at our house. Yeah. His name was Russell. But you know, I'm always like, hey Russ, how you doing, Russ? I always call him Russ. So that's that's a story. Yeah. Um anyway, fuck, what was I gonna say? Well, you were talking about just the characters and the fact the genuine Oh yes, yes, yeah. Because well, Russell, that's how you come across as an actor. It, to it me. is. Yeah, oh, you thanks. know. Yeah. yeah, you don't have that that it doesn't look like you're it, it looks yeah, you don't look like you're fucking acting. Not really, no. You really are you. 
you know there's well, a there's I mean, a lot of it, you in that it. doesn't mean i'm not capable of really going to uh, completely transforming to other characters i mean you know right oh, now i, I got the beard that. and the long hair but there was a period in my 30s where i was playing uh, when i i did uh, angels in america and i played a uh, uh a dra he was a drag queen, um, dying of AIDS. Prior Walter, Angel oh, Okay. Once right. they see, and then somebody saw me in that, and then I played a transsexual, and then I play, and then I played a cross dresser, and then they see you like what you look like, and and what you, your last thing that you did, and they think, well, that's what they do. Right. And you get so I had a whole series of playing, you know, different characters. That's amazing right. though. Like your capabilities no. are obvious. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> like, you've really played fun. a lot Great of different roles. characters. And let you? me tell you, if I could get a role like Jeffrey Tambor or um, or Louis Anderson, are mm -hmm. you kidding? A Baskets? I would yeah. shave this beard yeah. oh. in a heartbeat to get to be, really yeah. sink my teeth into a real role like that. So, That'd be cool. yeah, I'd totally do that in a minute. Well, the but right for now, this is working for me. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the. but the Cowboys, drunks, rednecks, you know. <laughs> I can do professors and doctors and shit, hippies and whatever. You, we you, love that. You yeah. got you got a wide range of people you can I think so. Person. He does. Yeah. I mean, you're you're And why cut it? Because you know the minute I cut the beard, they're going to want a beard. Yeah, you they're going to want a beard. What up your beard? I know. Right. I cut it. Well, and I think that people like Until you get the role. People a lot of people that write stories, you know, they usually like you said, you know, someone approached you and was like, "This I kind of wrote this for, you know, Leslie. Yeah. You're talking about mm -hmm. Leslie. Um that's kind of the way it goes. Yep. I mean, when you're writing a script, you have people in your mind, and yeah. you know it's usually going to be someone who you think fits the part. And so, mm -hmm. half the time, it's going to be what you look like. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. Most of the time, anyway. I like write... we don't ever want people to change a whole bunch to be. No. No. Anytime I write yeah. a script, I do the same thing. I have yeah. people in my head already when I'm writing. Well, we just asked yep. my grandma yep. <laughs> to yep. be in one of our short movies that we're that we're going to make. Yeah. And my grandma's never. We, it was a toss up. I was like, I don't know if as soon she'll as do I, it. As soon as I started writing the grandma part, I'm like, dude, it's Sam's grandma. It's Sam's grandma. That's all I could see in my head when I was writing. That was it. And then just like, well, I don't know anybody else who can do it. Well, I'm sure we can find somebody, but fuck, I want, I want your grandma. That's who he had in his head. And yeah. we asked her. And she and said, she said, sure. How about that? <laughs> I know. I nice. did a, I did a movie called Zombies of Mass Destruction with Kevin Hamadani, wonderful filmmaker. And cool. He, uh, yeah. He cast his dad in the, in a big role. And his dad was great. Never acted before in his life, and he, he just killed it. See what I'm saying? Was wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And people can do this if they, and they don't even know they can. Right. I think there's yeah. so much to it, but mm -hmm. I mean, well, obviously, there is a lot to it. There's but... a lot to it, but yeah, you just gotta let the at least gotta go play. Just go play. Yeah. I mean, when Russell was out there playing Doc, I saw the clips. You look like you're playing, man. You're having a good time out there. Totally fun. Yeah, totally dude. Fun. Fucking cool. Well, and to a creative it. person, I think it sometimes <clears throat> feels like you're not do working. It feels like you're not, yeah. you know, you're just playing yeah. or whatever to someone. And, you know, if you're creative. given the freedom, you know, yeah, sometimes especially. sometimes we would get the script and I'd say, you know, I don't think it, I wouldn't say it like that. I'll say the same thing, but let me just kind of put a little spin on it, put a little dock. I'll dock it up a little bit. Yeah. You know, and they're totally, they were totally cool with that. Yeah, I it's love perfect. that about Aaron. He's always open to that yeah, kind man. of stuff. And, you know, we had a lot of writers and some writers really knew my character better than other writers. And so, you know, they would just let you kind of play. Do your thing. Really, and that's a lovely, the best. Uh, yeah, a lovely thing. You don't yeah. get to, that. You don't usually get to do that uh, on theater. In theater, for sure. You right. know, it's like definitely you have to honor yet. the words of the mm -hmm. author. You know, all mm -hmm. that shit. Yeah. And you definitely don't really get the, the honor the writer's words. This yeah, is, this is Shakespeare. This is Tennessee you Williams. You must you honor those. That way. You don't get to fuck around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't no fucking around. Say the words. And I feel like Hollywood too. Like you don't get a lot of freedom like that there either. Some directors, well, some, some, some would. But, yeah. And if you do, you yeah. got to go through all the shit, the whole chain of command. Yeah. yeah. The producer, the network, the blah 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 blah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They were just real loosey goosey with us. It was that's really good, fun, and that's what probably yeah. made the show even resonate more. They <clears throat> yeah. trusted the actors. I mean, yeah. that's what I do. I'm like, well, if I cast somebody, obviously. Say, I think they can do it. So why wouldn't I let them do it? Yeah. Just do your shit. You know, I'll, I'll stay behind the camera. You do your thing. Well, and there's a right. magic yeah. that happens sometimes when you're open like that. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah. I so love too. doing that stuff like that. It's it's the best. I think that and it, it just makes the the entire cast have more fun and they get yeah. more invested in it. And I always my when I first started doing that, I was always like, well, I wrote the shit. So if I if I demand them to do this movie the way I see it in my mind and they have to say every word right and then the movie is just shitty, that's all my fault. But if yeah. they start <laughs> changing things because they are excited, now they're invested too. So now yeah. if it's shitty, we're all fucked up. <laughs> and I felt better about that. I'm like, yeah, well, let's all fuck up together. Well, and you know, I, 
I really end, I ended up having huge respect for editors, man. They they really fixed some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The I editors for TV, man, it's all about the editing. If you ask me, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's um, I believe it. And we had really good editors on C Nation, and it just made all the difference. A lot yeah. goes into editing. Isn't, a lot. Isn't it amazing yeah. when you're out there filming stuff, and it just looks and feels so stupid? And you're just doing oh, some yeah. stuff, and this, you, yeah. and then you see we'll the fix it in post. Yeah, we'll and fix the it punch post. doesn't Whatever. even hit. And no, you're you just see like, the, what am I doing? No, you see the cut, and you're just like, oh god, it's so stupid. Oh my god! And then after it goes through the editing process and it. comes out, you're like, holy shit, I look Whoa. like a badass. It's and then they add cool. the music, yeah. and, they, and you're like, wow. it's just like magic. It's yeah, magic. It's pretty cool. It's yeah, cool. editors are cool that way. But I'll never forget, Aaron, the first time that I heard you talk about how people, um, kind of. Well, what do you call that when you just the freedom oh, uh, when you uh, said improvise? Yeah, improvise. Yeah. improvise. When you I let love, people yeah. improvise and I'll never yeah. forget what you said to me after that. And you said that you said, well, I write it. But, you know, honestly, sometimes they tell it. They say it better than I ever did. Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, you want to you want to convey what what the message is. You know, sometimes for me, especially if you're doing a comedy you know, one of, there was a line that was written and they just, they just put the punchline a little too early. It needed to, you know, so I just moved it, just moved that to the end so that because in comedy, there's a rhythm to it. Yes. Yeah. Da, 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 uh-huh. Boom. And then you yeah. hit him with the punch. So, and they loved that, that I would do that. Yeah. And it, it got to the point where it's like, hey, give it to Russell, you know, they're not going to get the, <laughs> but, you know, so they would just give me the, the laugh line. And then awesome. I started to do more of the comedy in the show, which was, super fun for me you know yeah that's, that is fun that's fantastic buddy that, great That'll stuff man great it's stuff. Good stuff we've had a hell of a career man yeah you really have yeah, well, i mean you know it's been cool yeah very very once in a while i get recognized and that's the thrill yeah <laughs> oh yeah i was walking Just to not the post, too much right uh, lately i'm not nobody ever recognizes me anymore you know with masks and everything but mm-hmm. i was walking down the street to the post office and uh these all these carpenters were building this house and the dude just, dog is that you that's, oh, that's awesome it, was, it made my day yeah, right? I, bet. I bet yeah that's wonderful Good see i love that feeling that must be amazing and and going to comic-con and all the stuff and all the people that you got to meet that just adore so what cool. you did i mean yeah. what'd that feel like i mean that's that's a big just deal. amazing you know they all they all want to get high with me can you take a break <laughs> man? Can, can you, you take, take a break, a break? Let's, I, let's go burn one this is my own homegrown or they'll, they'll give me edibles or oh, brownies or they're, they're always so sweet they'll bring you little ed- yeah bless it's their very, heart that's yeah. so funny how many season was uh z nation by the way five five, five seasons okay, were you in every season amazing that we got amazing yeah yeah oh fuck oh, yeah. okay so you wrote it all out man yeah, I wrote the damn thing. They didn't kill me. They tried to kill me. <laughs> I, I was a cliffhanger on a couple couple seasons. I was a cliffhanger. It's not gonna live. It's oh, not gonna die. Uh-oh. That's great. Yeah, yeah all right. we have We're, to get into that one. I'll, I'll put it on. Yeah, I'm kind I of. I think worried. I was the only one that never got bit. That never got infected. Everybody, the, the entire cast got infected in some way. Okay. Uh, you know, one t- one of them, a bullet went through the zombie and hit her, and then she she got the, oh, infected. No. Oh, that that's, makes, oh, that's and, a great. And they got thing. bit. Uh, got bitten. Um, yeah, almost everybody turned zombie except me. I think. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we got to watch it. Let's get I got it. I got to get yeah, caught up. Well, Russell, we got a lot of whole new, whole new uh, fan base now because because of the uh, pandemic, people oh, are home wow. watching TV. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. So they Absolutely. finally get down to Z, <laughs> mm-hmm. going through the alphabet. <laughs> finally get down to us. And like, oh, let's watch this. That's cool. Yeah, That's got a whole good, bunch yeah. of new fans. Well, see, I'm Walking Dead out anyway. I'm, I just, yeah. I, I never even, I mean, the last season, I, we rode this thing out for what, 11, 10 years, 11 years almost. We, can't, we rage quit. Yeah, we rage quit this last year. And I'm like, oh, fuck, we got to finish it sooner or later. We will. My, my wife's right there with you. Man. Yeah, she, I don't know what happened. Right it's there hard. with you. It's hard. I got hard. to do a lot of Comic Cons with those guys. I That's bet. Cool. I bet. Yeah, yeah all a, of them. All of them. Fantastic um, show. And, and they stuff, had a great, yeah, happened. a great show, great cast and everything. I don't know what lost us, Aaron. It's just I don't been know what going on us. a long time. And it's just like, you know, watching like uh, Dexter just now, the last thing. It was really cool to see Dexter again. And it's a great show. Well, they killed right? off all the good people. That's why I. Quit. Well, yeah, your people always die in Walking Dead. That's Everyone, I'd have a favorite and they would but, die. Like but now you could watch Z Nation. All the times your favorite guy would be Doc. Yeah, she yeah, and, and so he, didn't, he ain't dying. He don't die. So, so. Amy Cliffhanger, you're like, ah, I already talked to Doc. He's <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's just overwhelming the amount of content that is available on TV now. I oh just, my gosh, I so know. Much. I mean, right now it's we're watching Dark. Right? Have you seen Dark? Uh-uh. I haven't. We just watched it's, The Maid. Yeah, we, we just watched what? The Maid. 
Oh, I loved it. That uh, was fantastic. Yeah, I did too. It. It's so real. So cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Show. She's great. And somebody said, oh, that's the girl from uh, La La Land. Uh, not La La Land. Um, 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 I, oh, the one with Mans the Manson murders and um, oh, Brad uh, Pitt. And um, Hollywood one. Hollywood, yeah. yeah. Ben Tarantino's movie. That. That yeah, she, was the, she was one of the, she was the, no the good hitchhiker was, girl. She was. Yeah. And he picked up. Yes. And, and I remember yeah. thinking, that girl is great. She's yes. a little star. Oh. She really stood, stood out for me. Yeah. In uh in that movie. What's it called again? Li Live and Die it's, in Hollywood. Oh no, it's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Once Hollywood. Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's it. Yeah. And then there she was. And I didn't even recognize her until oh, somebody really? said, No, that's her. I yeah. Yeah. I knew I'd seen her summer too. Yeah. She's fantastic on that show. That's a great show. But that's what we watch. What's dark? Yeah, what's dark? It's it's a German sci-fi thriller that's really hard to follow, but it's kind of addictive. And there there's um they they speak in English, but they're talk their mouths are doing German. Yeah, yeah. but you know, oh. so that's kind of yeah. weird. Okay, yeah. that's okay. I can get over that. Yeah, I don't have to read it. That's all you earn. Yeah, <laughs> I only I only started watching it because uh, it was on a list of like one of the top things to watch, and so you know. Just, oh, I said like you might like this. Because of stuff you watched, I don't know. Maybe, no. maybe that. Okay. okay the other thing I loved was Mayor of Mayor, Mayor of East Town was really wonderful. Okay, mm. uh, I've seen Mayor, that. I mean, I haven't watched Mayor it, but I, I know what you're talking about. Mayor of East Town, okay. really good. Okay, uh, yeah. There's, there's but there's some great shows. I mean, there, yeah, there really is. Yeah, I mean, Succession. I've been gobbled up Succession. That's amazing. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I know that one. Um, what's um, the one with Kevin Costner? Everybody keeps talking about. I got. Oh, watch. Yellowstone. Yeah, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. I haven't. I never that saw either. that. Me neither. So, I heard it kicks ass. Grandma's watching that. Is she? Huh. Yeah, I started it, but I didn't. I. Yeah, Just, I got to watch yeah, that too. I See, didn't. there's too much shit. There's and then so they're much. trying to make, and we're trying so to make much. our shit and do podcasts. And I know, I know, watch. it's hard. Damn. Yeah, you have, who has time? I well, I do. I, I want to have time. I, I love it. We would love to have time. They inspire. They're like homework to me. I watch them and I'm just get. I'm looking at the acting. I see the well, lighting. What, I see. What's the, the one you just? Yeah. I'm just like, oh, it's so bad. Your favorite one that you just watched? Um, you just finished. Oh, fucking Ozark! Oh. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ozark. That's on really another good. level. I, that's like that's like meeting Christ. Now, is, that show the last is so season, good. The newest, is the new season out yet? Yes. yes. New yeah, mm -hmm. that first part of just, it just yeah. came out. I watched. I, okay, I haven't started it yet, dude. But uh, yeah, there's a there's good. another YouTube thing or whatever that that gives you the whole rundown in case you forgot. Yeah, gives yep. you this whole blow by blow to yeah. get oh, you caught okay. up. Yeah, I oh. have been. Trying, I'm, season, I'm begging so. Sam to go and watch this with yeah, me. Season one again. It's so fucking good, dude. It's hard for me with shows because yeah, well. It, I end up having days where I'm just not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing a show. And he has this, mm. these are his show days, Monday, Tuesday, sure. Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> so like, if I'm not into it one day, well, I just get left out. Well, the good news here is, <laughs> is I've, I've watched me. all of Ozark, so I'd be happy to watch them again with you. So anytime, that's what he always And says. we can do it on your, we'll your watch time. It again. Just do it on your time, Sam, whenever you're ready. We have so many shows we still There's need to lot, finish, Russell. Aaron. There's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> there is a, a lot. It's a lot of content. Uh, it's so overwhelming. Well, it's, it's really overwhelming. Yeah. Sometimes I just go on YouTube and just just look up old old stuff, you know. Oh, right? Yeah. That's funny. You know. Yep. Same. Old I, things you forgot existed. Yeah. A lot of a lot of true crime. <laughs> we love true crime. Oh, I love it. Dude, I just I go went, to bed to that every night. I went back two nights ago to watch clips of DC Cab on youtube okay i fucking love that comedy i can't i don't have it anymore i mean it had everybody in it back in the day from mr t to gary Busey. i mean it had everybody in sure. it yeah right? yeah and paul rodriguez it's fucking hilarious right and right. that's I, I know exactly what you mean i i can lose hours on youtube just looking at movie clips i Easy. lose hours on well z nation on too YouTube that's how well. i saw your shit i just sat there watching yeah yeah try to get caught up real quick it's yeah. fun oh man russell great stuff yeah yeah, our Z Nation fans are the best too. They're just yeah. so loyal. They're just dying for a season six, and we're like, you know, sorry, it's not going to happen. It's we're, not going to happen, huh? It's not going to happen. No, no. There's no way. Um, uh, it's amazing that we got five seasons out of it. It really is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I didn't expect it to go any further. Well, five seasons we, is amazing. Like it really is. Yeah. yeah. I would love to do like a like a movie. Maybe somebody will do a great Z Nation movie where we could all come together and do That'd some kind cool. of have some closure. closure. For, yeah. For but in the meantime, I think me and Keith will do this really fun road trip. Half we're half brothers, and he's an ex porn star, and I'm a um, a, a former folk musician. Uh, he's a one hit wonder. He he wrote a song about Springfield, a uh, Springville, many years ago, and now there's like 30 Springvilles in the United States. So every Springville, he's a star because they think he wrote <laughs> about wrote their it. town. You know? <laughs> That's so awesome. it's a great. 
and then That's we right. you know we, we pick up a hitchhiker and she's non-binary and she's this little badass and so Super it's the three cool. of us oh on dude this that's fun. oh it's my wild, god man. i bet that's good that sounds like fun yeah where where are you guys at in the process are you just gonna try to figure uh, we've out been the money doing zoom, we've been doing zoom readings and um trying to get funding and uh li just lining it up we're hoping to shoot this summer cool buddy it should be really cool oh, super awesome. excited for you that no, if we don't kill fun. each other it's gonna be a great <laughs> you, you guys would be fine you guys <laughs> i think we'll, we'll make it work we've definitely work. got our eye on you now yes Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Well, you know, me and me and Murphy had good chemistry on the show, and so people will be into you yes. know seeing us doing something together. I bet. I just seeing you on screen yeah. for me is good. Yeah, because I think uh, you, you, I think yeah. you're a, a great actor. Absolutely. I love thank your work. you. Very talented. Yeah. Very talented guy. Um, mm -hmm. Super. So much. It's been a great time getting to know you. A yes. Bit, Russell. Yes, it has been. My pleasure, you guys. I wish you could have come to the studio, but you know what? We're happy to have you on Zoom. Yeah. It's been awesome. Yeah, and he figured it out. And he needs to he figure this stuff it out. out yeah. So that's good. You know, maybe me and Keith can come back when, when our movie's getting That'd closer. Awesome. Yes. And we can both get on and, and talk more about it. And, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That'd be we'll super see. cool, yeah. Just, yeah. Just we'll hit us up. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep in touch. I try to do my best oh. to keep up with everybody. So. And we're going to have to yeah. do another one yeah. with you because Chuck is going to be super bummed anyway. Yeah, so. too bad. Well, I know he's bummed, yeah. He should have got the shot. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry I missed. I'm sorry I missed Chuck, and uh, I'm thinking about him. Hope he gets well soon. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. He'll absolutely. appreciate that. He'll, he yeah. will love it. He will love that. But we will definitely have you back so that you can cool. love it. Be on yeah, with yeah. Chuck, and yeah, definitely keep us updated on what you got going on because we love to talk about it. And yeah. Okay. Everyone always wants to know what everyone's up to that we're yeah, yeah. guests. So I'm gonna be in uh, Idaho for uh, Comic Con in uh, August, okay. the Idaho Halloween Horror Comic Con. Cool. I, so that that's my next Comic Con at least that I know of, and that's and you know anybody can follow me on Instagram. I kind of got off of Facebook. I couldn't deal with Facebook anymore, but I'm on Instagram. <laughs> Kind of a little bit of Twitter, but barely, yeah. barely on Twitter. Okay. But Instagram's okay. fun. Yeah. yeah. That's great, man. All right. Well, I'm yeah, going to yeah. find you on Instagram. Everybody, this is. Yeah, yeah, do it. Russell Hodgkinson. Yes. Very good. Maysville Z Nation. This is a bad dude. He's no joke. <laughs> He's, a bad dude. He's a bad dude. He's a bad dude. Man. Uh, it's, thank it's, you guys so much. It's really been a blast, man. It. Thanks for joining us tonight. Give us some time. Thank you so much. Absolutely. My pleasure. All right, bro. Well, Sam, there's well. our show. That's it, I guess. All right, Chuck's not here to close this out, so we'll just say think hard because you're thinking anyway. I guess. All Bye, right. Russell. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We'll see you later. I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. Are you freaking kidding me? me? Not Dude, again. Change, change, change the station. Well, it's kiss. Please. Let's kiss. No, some. but we don't know. It's not kiss. It's Aaron. Yeah. It Stop. Who sings that again? Tonight. Kiss? Yeah. Let's leave it that way. Oh, sorry. No. Thanks. Well, I thought this was a show about being creative. I was just being creative. On the that's mic. not being yeah, creative. That's, that's just, no, being that's, annoying. <sighs> well, maybe I'm trying too hard. Maybe that's, it's a lot yes. simpler. Aaron, remember, as all good broadcast people know, less is more. So for radio, if I don't say anything, wouldn't that be kind of a buzz? It would be a great nope, freaking would, show. That would give the rest of us a chance to say something. Oh, my God. Yeah, then we'd hear something other than you. Well, I thought around the reel we were going to just have a good time and talk with people. We and do, but it's not about you, as we have talked about in the past. It's about our wonderful guests. And our wonderful guests can tune in and become a member of our show. How, Sam? Well, if you want to be a guest on our show, you can go to our website, cccentertainmentgroup.com, and click on the link for guest scheduling for Around the Reel and come be our guest. Yeah, and then I don't get to talk about myself anymore. Be you talk um, about yourself anyway. Yes. Sure. Oh, guess. Oh, now Chuck's singing. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Because he was made for loving me, baby. Wait, what? that's not all. Is that you? Yeah, that's weird. No. <laughs> I sang that wrong. Yeah, he's. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. He was made for loving you, Aaron. Just remember to keep tuning. And I in, wasn't. Because <laughs> next week, who knows what's going to happen? You never know. <laughs>